Easter, Stephen, for us? Sounds good, Brian. It's pretty risky. Eunice just gave you a perfect scenario for a country that uh, is much, much tougher um, at um, you know containment than, 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 than we are. And it took two months. And for us to do it in three weeks, I think, is um, highly dubious and entails great risk. No one wants to take uh, our economy down, but, you know, we, you don't want to open things up prematurely and make things worse either. So it's a it's a delicate trade-off, but I think we have to err on the the side of caution as underscored by the medical profession yeah. rather than by the politicians. But, but you maybe agree, Stephen, that there will ultimately be a trade-off. It will never be a day where there's no cases. I mean, Hong Kong still has cases growing, and they're trying to, you know, sort of not reopen, but, but keep open, if you will. There'll never be the perfect time. No, I, I totally agree with you. I mean, uh, but the judgment that needs to be made, Brian, is when does the risk-reward tip in a way that allows us to resume um, some semblance of economic activity? And three to four weeks relative to the two-month trajectory in China is, is worrisome. And I think, um, you know, we certainly don't want to incur massive economic carnage as we wait for, as you said correctly, the perfect trade-off, because it will never occur. But we don't want to move in a way that is premature and um, uh, that, that ushers in uh, a, a major setback in our recovery efforts. And this is going to come from the states. I mean, a lot of people talk about, you know, obviously no disrespect to the federal government, but these are statewide decisions. As far as I know, I mean, I'm not at Yale, Stephen, but we are a federalist republic the last time I checked. I mean, ultimately, the states are going to have to make the calls. I think, you know, the states, uh, city, um, society in, 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 in many respects. Uh, and I actually I just finished my first experience teaching uh, 20 uh, bright young students online at Yale, and the discussion today was uh, fragmentation in Europe. Does the uh, European Economic Union uh, survive this shock? And they, they made that point that um, the fragmentation, potential fragmentation of the Eurozone is playing out real time with the potential fragmentation of the United States of America, and um, it's an interesting uh, and important comparison. It certainly is. By the way, very quickly, Thursday, Canada had a million, almost a million jobless claims today. Their workforce is tiny compared to ours. Could we have a couple million people applying for jobless benefits when we get the data Thursday morning? Well, my old company, uh, and you just talked to Mike Wilson, is looking for over three million. Goldman Sachs is looking for two. So, you know, split the difference. Uh, yeah, we could have a big number, but, uh, you know, the markets are... Hopefully uh, anticipating that, uh, and uh, that certainly didn't stop a mega bounce today. The question is, can it be sustained? And we're going to see a lot, a lot of bad numbers after uh, this. Thursday. We certainly will.